Mm, no, let's go with these. Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now that I've got my ears on, we can get ready. So today, these ears, these are from Disneyland Paris. I think they're like the 25th anniversary ones. Yes, the 25 years anniversary is, and then my jumper is from Walt Disney World. Is it or is this Disneyland Paris one? No, Walt Disney World. So as you can tell, I'm a bit of a hot mess today. It is middle of lockdown and I'm in a bit of a rut, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, this video today is the live Disney trip update of November in 2020. So, like I said, in a bit of a rut, my ring light literally melted. <laughs> so that is gone and I'm waiting for Santa to bring me a new one. Um, we are in lockdown. Typical mum girl, when you're in lockdown, you feel guilty that you're not doing enough with your kids. But you can't go out because there's nothing to do. Um, really didn't want to film this, hence why I'm not wearing any makeup. No effort has been put into my appearance today. But Orlando is at nursery, so I thought I might as well just get this filmed and tell you a little bit about what's been going on the last couple of months. So, first up, Orlando. So, I think the last time I did an update was August time. So, he is now in nursery. He absolutely loves it. Um, the original plan was for me to work and do housework and everything when he is off. So Orlando, um, he is doing good. The last time we did an update, he was yet to start nursery. He started it now, he absolutely loves it. My plan on Thursdays has completely changed. There are no shifts at the moment. As you can guess, I'm on furlough again. Um, don't know how long for. We're hoping we'll start back at work in December, but who knows with the way COVID is going. So I just basically chill out, do housework, do all the odd bits and bobs that need doing in the week when he's there. Sorry, there's some weird lady walking in my car park. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's all good. He's about 15 months now. Got an absolute attitude on him. I, you can tell he's my son. Um, everything that you see on Instagram and on YouTube is him being an absolute delight. You don't see him having the absolute tantrums that he has like when we were at um the warner brothers studio tour he had a full-on paddy in the middle of diagon alley so that was fun <laughs> but it it is what it is so yeah nothing really going on with orlando i know that in my last update vlog i was telling you all about all the things that i've got going on at the moment unfortunately a lot of those have been cancelled <laughs> we did go to bun leisure in september we were meant to go back at the end of November, beginning of December, but due to the national lockdown, that has been cancelled, unfortunately. So we've got no more trips away this year. Um, we did go to the Warner Brothers studio tour, which you would have seen in one of my last vlogs. That was amazing. That was literally the day before the UK went back into lockdown. So that was a nice kind of family get, get out, tr day trip, whatever you want to call it, um, before we all got stuck at home again. Um, the only other things that we had planned this year was um, Christmas at Kew. Uh, we did that last year. It's amazing. We were meant to go in a couple of days, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, that's been cancelled. It has been postponed until I think like the 13th of January, something like that. So we are going to go. It's not going to be the same going in January, but it's a day out. Christmas lies. Just extend the Christmas period. So that is fine. Um, Blenheim Palace, we are still meant to be going to in between Christmas and New Year. Um, that we've had no update on, fingers crossed, that still goes ahead. We will have to wait and see. Um, apart from that, there is not really much to update on live. Like I said, I'm on furlough. Um, I'm meant to be on Swimming World, not really happening. And my donuts have just released a new festive menu where it's like a double Big Mac, so don't think I'm going to be doing too well. I do really, really, really need to crack down. Um, I have my good days and my bad days. I have lost over a stone, but you can't really tell. Um, I'm filming this on our wedding anniversary and I am actually three stone, well, just under three stone heavier than I was on my wedding day. I know that a lot of it is my fault. I'm not going to pass that blame on to anyone else. However, I find with my C-section scar, 
I haven't really spoken about it before. It cuts your, they basically cut through your abdominal, abdominal, that word, cut through your muscles, cut through all your gut. Um, so you tend to have a hang, that sounds disgusting, have a hang and my stomach hasn't really gone back like, anyway, I'm not where I need to be. So I really need to crack down in the hopes that I will look better in Florida, but yeah, a stone down. So we'll just have to, fingers crossed, wish for the best. Hope I don't spend too much money at McDonald's. Like I said before, we are meant to be going on the 28th of April 2021 for 17 nights or 18 days. That is still due to go ahead. The only thing that has changed from our last update, so now we're not doing the whole Disney thing. We are staying in a just bog standard hotel that we've stayed in before. So I won't go through all of that. If you want to know more about that, please look at my live Disney update of August 2020. Um, but the only thing that has changed now is Disney is no longer selling the 21 day park tickets. So it is now changed to a 14 day park ticket, which actually meant that our holiday was cheaper. And it means we could do more either side of the parks. It's not exactly what we wanted, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, so yeah, so 14 day ticket now instead of a 21 day ticket. We have booked all of our park reservations. So they are all done. I think I've roughly equaled it out. So there's four parks and 14 days. So I think we're doing like two of the parks three times and two of the parks four times can't really remember off my head and i can't <laughs> tell you now which ones we booked for which days because i can't honestly remember um but i also so that yeah that made a holiday a lot cheaper um and also i used my air miles that i've been saving up for virgin i haven't really been doing them long and we don't fly that often but it got us 90 quid off our holiday so yeah we haven't actually started paying off the balance the balance isn't due until february the reason we've done that is because if everything gets cancelled and we've paid the whole holiday off, it can take you a really, really long time to get that money back. So I don't want to be going paying out like £3,000 to then not go and then not be able to book anything else because we've got no more money. Um, so yeah, we're just saving it secretly and then when it comes to the due date, we'll pay off the money. Fingers crossed we still go. Please keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, there is apparently a vaccine coming out for COVID. Don't know how true that is, don't know what's going on with that, but I want to say it's looking hopeful, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Right now, this week, we should have been starting to book our 180 day in advance signing reservations. They're only doing them like a month in advance now, so we've still got ages to wait. We won't be doing as many as we were doing before, um in 2018 on our honeymoon we went full out and 2016 actually and 2017 but basically we're just going to choose our favorites um not do them as often we will definitely be doing be our guest breakfast we will definitely be doing um garden grill garden grill breakfast that is one of my favorites chef mickey's of course um so yeah we're definitely still going to do so i'm um, just not as many as we have done previously but until february until kind of we know if we're going we there's no point really thinking much about that so yeah there's not really much of an update but i don't tell you everything that happens every single day of course our lives are a lot different between closed doors than you see on social media so this is just a quick insight as to what's been going on in life um we're really looking forward to christmas christmas is my favorite time of year literally i love it so dan is actually going to collect our christmas decorations from my mum's today and bring them home so over the, over the next couple of days we're going to start getting ready for christmas christmas presents are basically all brought now we've literally got one more thing to buy for my nephew and we are done they're all wrapped ready to go um so i'm just looking forward to getting cozy and spending time with my family at christmas hopefully i get to see my extended family like my mum dad and that lot over the christmas season but we'll just have to wait and see but yeah so that is it guys sorry this is a super super quick vlog it's probably going to be like three minutes in total i'm sorry um but what have i got coming up so there's some good vlogs coming up there is what we've bought um orlando for christmas 
there's going to be decorating for Christmas. There's going to be so much going on on my YouTube channel. So please do keep tuned. And as always, there is always stuff on my Instagram page daily. Content wise is, is a bit slow. Um, at the moment, I'm going to over the whole of November, December, I'm going to be recapping our very merry Christmas parties that we did in 2018 and our general Disney honeymoon that we had. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. But if you like this video, please do like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of it. Um, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.